What's up guys, it's Baylor here at Subaru of Puyallup and today we're gonna go over all the eyesight features of uh, the Subaru models and what they do. Okay, today guys, we are going to go over all the features of the eyesight system. Uh, right now we're driving a 2024 Outback Touring XT um, and we're gonna go over all the cool things that, that eyesight does. Um, off the bat, we're gonna go over um, the lane departure prevention feature. So right now it's turned on um, and as we go to drift out of the lane, which I'm gonna do right here, it's gonna pull the steering wheel a little bit and center me back in the lane. Uh, if I was to be using my blinker like this, I can get over with no issues. But if I just try to drift over the line without it telling me, it pulls me back in. Okay, now I'm gonna demonstrate the advanced adaptive cruise control. So with normal cruise control, you set it and you're gonna go that speed until you hit the brakes or deactivate cruise control. With advanced adaptive cruise control, when you set your cruise control, it will pace with traffic ahead of you regardless of what you have your, your speed set at. So right now, I'm gonna set my cruise control and I'm gonna increase it to kind of an obnoxious speed here. So right now it's set at 65. But the car ahead of me right now is only doing about 57. And it will keep me at this same distance the whole time, whether he speeds up or slows down. I can adjust my following distance using these buttons on the right side of the steering wheel here. So right now I'm kind of right in the middle as far as distance goes. I can increase my distance by clicking this upper one here and it will break a little bit for me and space us out a little bit. I can also decrease my following distance and pull us closer. That's the minimum set distance right now. And this is not car lengths, the adjustment, it's time of braking. So the faster you're going, the further the distance is gonna be. Like right now, for doing 60 miles an hour, we're pretty darn close to the car ahead of us, but the car will be able to pick up on that and slow us down as he slows down. I don't know if you've been able to see my uh, speed adjusting as we drive, um, but this is keeping pace with the car ahead of me, even though the cruise control is set at 65. Right now we're only doing about 50, 51 miles an hour. Paired with the adaptive cruise control, you also have a lane centering feature, which is the bottom right button on the steering wheel here. When you turn that on, it will hold you in the middle of your lane, not letting you drift side to side. Like right now, the steering wheel feels really tight because it's keeping me centered in the lane. It's picking up on the lines of my lane on either side and keeping me right in the middle. If I were to try and pull my steering wheel, it pulls me right back in. If I were to use my blinker, that feature would deactivate. Let me get over into the next lane and go from there. Right now, I'm gonna use my blinker Lane centering deactivates. We can get over, turn off the blinker, and lane centering turns right back on. On every Subaru model, there's gonna be two eyesight cameras right up here, right at the top of the windshield that sit flush against the window. That's standard on every Subaru model across the board, whether it's an automatic or a manual transmission for 2024. On some of the upper levels and different models, you have a third eyesight camera. The one in the middle, which is right behind the mirror here, is gonna look for smaller things, like people in a crosswalk, someone riding a bike or a motorcycle, or maybe a deer standing in the middle of the road. The outer ones are gonna be a little bit narrower of a view, and that's gonna detect the lines of the lane and the cars ahead of you, whether it's their speed or they're just the car being there. Every Subaru model is equipped with emergency braking in the front. Um, again, whether it's automatic or manual transmission, it has that emergency braking feature. That one's gonna be a little bit hard to demonstrate. Uh, there's other videos you can see where uh, Subaru of America demonstrates how that operates. Um, but what that does is under 50 miles an hour, if someone were to brake check you, there's an accident that you don't see, everyone's stopping in traffic, um, and you're, you may not be paying attention, it's going to alert you first by beeping and flashing a little red light on the windshield. And if you don't brake, it is going to kick in and brake for you. It will stop you extremely quickly and will probably scare you a little bit, but it's a little better to be scared than to total your car by rear-ending somebody at 40, 50 miles an hour. 
With that, it cuts down on rear end collisions by over 80%, which is why Subarus are so cheap to insure um, compared to other models. When you are so much less likely to get into a rear end accident with other cars, insurance, insurance companies like that. Thank you guys for watching my demonstration on the iSight system in the 2024 Outback. Comment down below what you want us to demonstrate in one of our next videos. And if you're looking for your next Subaru, come find me down here at Subaru of Puyallup.